Couple of tips for today's workout. So we are focusing on getting sets done within the two minutes and 45 seconds. This mean you, means you might not be able to increase the weight and that's fine. We're building up some work capacity. Don't worry, weight's coming in a couple weeks. So make sure you've seen what you did last week. So check your history. Or if you're setting a baseline, set that baseline, increase gradually, but have everything ready. You don't wanna be wasting time in between sets trying to find out what you're gonna do. You should have that done already. For the squats, it's also a great opportunity for you to work on your movement integrity. So get that depth on the standard. Work on your quality. You don't need to go really heavy today. It's gonna be tiring. And if you focus on form, on the last set, that's what's most important, go to complete exhaustion. Those presses are gonna sneak up on you because you're gonna be fatigued from the squats. So just gradually increase that weight, follow the percentages, okay, and make sure you are not hyperextending your back. This is important, always on presses. For the Romanian deadlifts, and this is important, you're either gonna sumo those bells up or you are gonna do a staggered stance deadlift up. If you suitcase them, you're putting your back into your own hands, so to speak, and literally. You do that, you put a lot more strain on the back. So focus on picking up and putting down the bells. Your back's gonna be fatigued. We've been doing a lot of work with hinging and there's more to come. So make sure you are picking those up and putting them down properly. And just remember, the Romanian deadlift is not about getting the bells to touch the ground. This is a subjective range of motion. The movement quality is more important than the standard, okay? For you, this is an accessory movement. We wanna use this to help increase your hinge strength. You don't need to go down to the ground. That's an arbitrary distance. And if you start rounding your back, you're gonna be compromising your form and increasing the risk of injury. The second part with the kettlebells, and this really goes for all of our workouts, but especially when we use kettlebells because there's nine pound jumps between bells. So we give a range. So today it's six to 12 reps. What's most important is that you are doing either A, more weight than last week, B, more reps at the same amount of weight as last week, or C, a combination of both. So this is just a general philosophy, which is called progressive overload and what's needed for you to get better. But especially when we're using kettlebells and we have these big jumps, just make sure you are making the difficulty a little bit tougher in this week. For the challenge finish we're gonna be doing, we've got a 10 minute AMRAP. Okay, the same thing we've been doing this whole month. This is number four, and you are gonna go through 40 pounds and 25 pound med balls. These are heavy, okay? These are heavy, so you're gonna to have to break these up. You've got an overhead, so a tricep extension, then to a press, it's complex. Both of those movements is one rep together. Then you're going to an overhead slam, then you're going to a goblet, or holding that med ball in your hands, reverse lunge. Now kettlebells, don't worry, you're doing this at home. You do the alternative movements with your kettlebell, it still counts for the challenge. And then finally, we're going into a fairly complex movement, which is the toes to bar. So this is a skilled and strength movement. I know a lot of you don't have it yet. Okay, so work the progressions. How you're gonna score this. Okay, first of all, look at the tiebreaker. It's as fast as you get through it. That's your tiebreaker time. I finished with just over three minutes. So my tiebreaker is six minutes and 59 seconds. If you can't get one toes to bar, still record one rep. This is gonna allow you to record in the challenge, all right? And then it's gonna be the tiebreaker that determines who the winner is in those ones. Have fun with this. This is definitely a lot of volume, a lot of stamina. We're gradually decreasing that volume over the next couple of weeks and increasing the intensity. So you're gonna be lifting more weight, a little more rest, but for now, have fun. I'll see you on the leaderboard.